looking to push in transition. Matal, another open look, and she spins it in for the triple. And we're all tied up at 12, back-to-back three-pointers by the senior Matal. 12-12 the score, back-to-back buckets, and there's another steal. Mulligan tipped it to Timbilla. It's a two-on-one, and Rashida goes the distance. And for the first time today, the minute women have a lead. A little bit of a different defensive look by the Patriots. Kimber Hill, there's that quick decision, and she finds Kim Pierre-Louis with the layup. Maybe get an and one, or at least get the foul call. That'll work too, Timbilla after the missed shot, has nobody between her and the basket, coast to coast, back to back buckets for the minute women. And all of a sudden that 12 point lead is down to eight. Leah McDermott angle dribble between the arcs. Here's a turnaround jumper and Pierre Louis buries it. Six straight points for Massachusetts and the minute women are down by six. Taking those shots when it's open, I mean, she's just right there at the basket for making those easy shots. Matal with her third three-pointer of the first half off the bench, and it's a five-point game. McDermott to Pierre-Louis, there's a mismatch up and over the freshman Dodson, and UMass cuts it to five. Timbilla's pass, she'll sneak it in for Pierre-Louis. Spin move, McNair got a piece of it, but that doesn't stop Pierre-Louis. She has 17, and once again, UMass pulls within seven. And Taylor Brown's done a good job of working out of that tough one-on-one -on -one coverage. She has six assists. Here's McDermott. She was able to knife her way down the left side of the lane, and a rare two-point shot is good, and it's a three-point game. Pierre Louis sneaks between a couple of defenders and banks it in high off the backboard to make it a one-point game. And there's rebound number six for Rashida Timbilla. Dillard, the three for the lead, and it's good. Sierra Dillard picking a great time for her first field goal of the day, and UMass is back on top by two. Here's Rashida Timbilla, wheels her way into the paint, gets the finger roll, and UMass goes back up by two with seven minutes to play. So a lot to like for Sharon Dolly. UMass hanging on to the basketball, winning the rebounding battle, hitting their free throws. Here's a rare three-point attempt, and it's good for Amber Dillon. UMass 67, George Mason 61. Misses both. Kimber Hill, though, grabs the rebound, and that sort of negates the two misses. Well, definitely. That's the second time UMass has done that, so that shows the effort offensively. Kimber Hill got the rebound. Dylan rewards her. Dylan gets the helper, and Kimber Hill puts UMass up 69-63. to They try to trap Kim Pierre-Louis. She's going to dribble in, force it up, but gets the friendly carom, and UMass is back up by three. Brown gets a high screen. Three-pointer for the tie, and she buries it. No question who was going to get the basketball. Taylor Brown knocks down another. She has 28 points. Timbilla goes baseline, forces it up. It's no good. Rebound grab by Makube. Two seconds to go. Half court shot for Brown is no good. And for the first time this season, the minute women are going to overtime. McDermott, Hill, and Dillard. Timbilla drives, gets an open look, and UMass draws first blood in overtime. This is the first overtime game for the Minute Women since they lost to the Patriots in overtime last year in the A-10 tournament. Kim Pierre-Louis gives UMass that four-point lead back, her first bucket of overtime. What's a six-point UMass advantage? Cole's shot is deflected by Dillard, and that puts the exclamation point on an 85-79 overtime victory for the UMass Minute Women here at the Mullins Center over the Patriots of George Mason University. UMass snaps a six game skid and they do it with a balanced effort. Four players in double figures for UMass, led once again by 27 from Kim Pierre-Louis.